about our creation, Psalm 8 teaches us that God held back just a little from making us divine ourselves. What are we meant to do with this great potential? What course should we pursue to soar close to the heavens and not feel like we are so distant from our near divine potential? In the very beginning, in Bereshi, God tells us to use this potential to be fruitful and multiply, to fill the earth and to conquer it, to rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, and all the living things that creep on the earth. Seen only in its context, this verse seems to tell us to use our divine potential to be like a deity over God's creation. Here, Torah stresses human intellect and power seemingly without qualification. In contrast to this expansive command to seemingly be large and in charge comes the very concise words at the very beginning of Vayikra chapter 19. Here God challenges us in a very different way. Kedoshim tihiyu, ki kadosh ani Adonai Elohechem. Be holy because I, Adonai your God, am holy. Here the Torah stresses our spiritual and our moral responsibility to be holy like God. The connection between these two verses, these divine charges that are in competition with one another, is the birth of each and every human being. How will this new life live out these two challenges? Will it strive towards holiness, or will it struggle to dominate? And that is where our Parsha begins, exactly there with the birth of a new baby and the spiritual traditions around their birth. This leaves me and you with the most important question, the most challenging question each of us has to answer. Are we each living our lives balancing these two divine challenges to make ourselves a little less than divine, to soar close to the heavens? Shabbat Shalom.